Hello everyone, welcome in my channel ASP.NET Core. Today I'm going to show you auto-generated DB context uh, from database table. So uh, you know that um, uh, in a lots of uh, projects already have a database table, but uh, I want to design uh, some tables and you can say the models from database uh, from database table. So just a reversible process um, from the code first approach. Uh, so uh, you uh, you have to design your uh, DB context from database table by using that processes. So uh, that is a newly created project that is empty project. And after that empty project, you have to install first of all a tools package from the Nugget li library. So just browse and must to uh, use internet ex uh, internet and uh, to install your uh, package that is uh, tools package. Microsoft Entity Framework dot uh, Microsoft Entity Framework Core dot Tools package, and uh, le the latest version uh, will be there in the right side of your window. You can see, and uh, the package will be installed. After installed that package into your uh, references folder, you uh, the next thing you can do uh, is that uh, apply. Uh, some uh, command in your package manager console so just go to the tools and package manager console that is pm and apply that command that is the simple command that is scaffold db context and the connection string and after that you have to assign the provider that is microsoft entity framework code or sql server and output directory is here that is model uh, you will be changed uh, according to you and that is the uh, context uh, you have to say that the name of the file uh, of your context so first of all pick that uh, database from your uh, sql server that is the i think web api tutes is the name of the database so just use web api tutes the last thing that is the context here here you can see that that is the class name of the context and data notations also applied on on your model so the server is a local db ms sql local db and the database name is choose from your sql server and uh, and after that you can see that the provider name is similar microsoft entity framework code or sql server so uh, microsoft dot entity framework code dot sql server is installed into your uh, into your nuget package so just you have to install uh, from the nuget package also so context and the, the name of the context is adventure context it's not adventure context so just replace with the application db context and data notations is there so uh, the one thing we, uh, check in microsoft entity framework code.sql server is if you not installed please uh, installed into your from the NuGet package library. So Microsoft Entity Framework Core.SQL Server is mentioned in the references folder. So after that, you have to see that is the error. Uh, oops, a network related or instance specific SQL Server not found. So that just again uh, use it. And uh, in the slash, you can use backslash. That is the find. Um, by BPI, trusted connection is true. Microsoft Entity Framework is provider, and again you have to start your uh, console. Yeah, that is uh, created successfully. Your data context and that context name is application DB context, and data folder is there, and connection is string inside into your context file. So, guys, thank you very much for watching this video, and keep watching all other videos which is related to ASP.NET Core. And many more technologies will be cover uh, related to the Microsoft like uh, machine learning and uh, uh, Blazor and uh, Xamarin's and etc. Thank you very much for watching this video.